What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another twin motion tutorial for you. In today's video I wanted to show you how to take emitter materials and make them so they actually have a color associated with them inside of twin motion. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so this is a string of lights that I've created in SketchUp and I'm not really worried about the lights looking realistic. I wanted to talk more about how to make the materials emit properly. So if we look at this, we have a red material on one and a green on the other, and these materials repeat across these lights. And so let's say that we wanted to take this whole string and light it up, you know, like a Christmas light string or something like that. So if we were to make it dark, so let's say we were to make it dark here, you can see how right now you can't really see these. So what we need to do is we need to adjust these materials so that they actually glow or emit light. So the way that we would do that is we would just use the material picker, select the material and that's going to bring up the material that you're going to edit and then inside of the settings for that material there's an option for glow and so the problem with glow right now is let's say we took this and turned the glow up to hundred percent and then took the green material went into our settings and turn the glow for that one up to 100%. Well, the problem with that is you can see how this is only emitting white light. So it doesn't matter what color your material is, the light that's being emitted isn't being emitted properly. And so what we need to do is we need to create what's known as a glow map. And so a glow map is just going to, it's going to be an image file that we're going to load into our material that's going to tell this how this should look when it glows or when it lights up. And so, and then we'll talk about a really interesting way to kind of make these, uh, make these um, go between different colors. So to start off, for our red material, if we turn our glow down, you can see how this is just a solid red material. Well, what we need to do is load a glow map in here. So I'm gonna create this in Photoshop. You can create it in whatever image editing software you want, or I'm sure there's like a color you could download. It really doesn't matter. We just need an image that's a solid color. So in this case, I'm in Photoshop, and I'm just gonna add a solid color overlay, and I'm gonna make it red. So we'll make it kind of a little bit darker red, kind of like this one, and we're gonna click OK. And so it's just a very simple image with a color associated with it. So now I'm gonna export this image to a JPEG image. So we'll go ahead and we'll call this red. And so I'm gonna export this as an image. And all that is is just a red color swatch. There's nothing special about it. So now we're gonna go into our glow settings and under texture, we're gonna click on this and we're gonna open that file that we just created. So I'm gonna open the red setting in here. And then we'll go back and we'll turn our glow up. Well now, you can see how instead of emitting a white light, this is emitting a red light. So now, this red light is glowing the proper color. So let's go and do the exact same thing for our green. And so honestly, because this is so simple, I can just change the map that I had in here to a green color. So we want it to be kind of a darker, kind of a Christmassy green like this. And then we can just export it again. We don't even need to save this Photoshop file as anything. We'll just export it. So we'll do a file, export. And we'll just call it green and save this. So now we'll go back into Twin Motion. We'll select our green material. And in our glow map, we'll load in a green map. So you can see how now this is glowing with a green. So now you've got lights in here that are red and that are red and green that are emitting the proper kinds of light. And so this is really good for um, just like a fixed light, kind of like this one. Well, let's say that we wanted this to change colors, right? So let's say we wanted this to go from like red to green or something like that. You could do that with a different kind of map and by animating the texture. It's kind of a workaround, but it still works fairly well. So if you want lights that kind of blink or change in the background, you can do this. So this is a method that I saw from the Twin Motion Twitter feed. I think it was a response to an old um, post about changing colors. So if you're looking for more great resources and other things, make sure to follow Twin Motion on Twitter. I will uh, try to remember to link to that in the notes down below. So what we're gonna do in this situation is we're gonna go back into our image editing software. And this time, instead of using a color fill, and again, you can do this with any kind 
You can do this with any kind of image editing software um, that can create what's known as a gradient. And so what we want to do is we want to use the gradient tool in order to create a material that moves from red to green. So in this situation, what I've done in Photoshop is I've clicked on the gradient tool and then up here, there's an option right here for red to green. So you could also just set this manually if you wanted to, but in this situation, this is all working fine. So I'm just gonna leave it as is, but you just wanna select the red to green gradient and click okay. And so what you want is you want something that kind of transfers from red to green um, inside of this image. And so what we're gonna do, and again, this is a quick workaround. There's other things you could do to make this seamless and stuff like that. I'm not really super worried about that right now, but we're just gonna export this again. So we're gonna do a file, export. We're gonna export this one as red to green and click save. So now what we want to do is let's go ahead and load this on our red material. So we'll select the material using the picker, go to our settings and under our texture map this time we're going to open red to green. And so one thing that can be kind of helpful is when you apply this material, if you click here and you place the spherical UV, it's going to map this a little bit better in here. But basically what we're going to do is now we've loaded in this map. Well, what we want to do now is we want to go to the scale settings and we want to animate the texture. So we're going to set our scale to one for right now. And then under more, there's options to animate the movement of this texture. So in this situation, if I animate this, so that it moves at 0.25, you can see how this is gonna change between red and green. So this is basically animating the movement of this texture. It's animating it so that it moves across this face. Um, so it's actually moving the texture. And since we've made this a gradient, it's basically showing the difference between the red and the green. And so there's different things you could do with different kinds of gradients. So like if you didn't want this red to be moving quickly across the face of this light, you could do maybe like a circular gradient or get a little more creative with that. But you can see how this is a fairly easy way to animate um, the glow and different colors um, if you want your lights to kind of change colors inside of your twin motion renderings. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought was this helpful to you. Have you done anything like this? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.